So we're still on day one. This is the first full day that the hen girls have been here with us. And uh, it's been nice to have, I have my blink camera up there. So whenever I've left today, I've been able to see what's going on. Little girl over here on the left laid an egg today. Yay for the pretty girl. We still don't have names. We didn't even really come with names. Really just Tiny and the two blondies, I think. So we're just gonna get to know you before we figure out what names suit you best. It is super hot here in Florida. And I've got the fans rolling, but even that, it's just hot. I mean, it's hot. I'm most happy to see, look at Polly right there with the girls. There's Polly the rooster. Polly's only been used to his stuffed animals, Sheila. There's Sheila. And uh, now he's got some real girlfriends to play with. So this has been really an adventure in itself. Very exciting for us all. And um, very sweet girls, these three hens. I'm looking forward to getting to know you girls. I was so happy to see that egg this morning. I couldn't even believe it. I was not expecting to see an egg this morning. But there it was, right? So I'm just going to continue kind of coming in and out, but really just leaving them to themselves today. It's funny because Polly actually, very much so like a man, needs his space. Um, he needs a break. Uh, when I got back from my errands, I was gone for a couple of hours. Polly was like, all right, uh, could you let me out, please? And I don't want to let the girls out until Chris gets home tonight because I really think last night was awful with that girl in there flying the coop literally and running into the Florida forestry jungle. I now have poison oak all over my body. And when I say all over my body, I'm telling you it's everywhere. I look like I have leprosy or something. But it was all for the good of catching, capturing precious little girl. I'm grateful that I was able to capture you. Because that's a big forest out there, a big jungle. Really big. And a huge spider landed on my head. My biggest fear in life, girls, is spiders. And that was a living nightmare for me last night. That's why I'm also wearing long pants today, because that was scary. I am prepared, Polly. I'm prepared for all of you all. I'm going to go ahead and check on the puppy dogs, and I hope you all just continue to chill today, and uh, I'll be back out in a few moments to check on you, okay? Good girl, good girl. Her knows how to get in there, huh? Art said, I want to get up there. What's going on here with Velociraptor? What is that? You sound like from... Jurassic Park, Polly. There she goes. Good girl. What? She's just getting up there, getting cozy. When Chris gets home today, he's going to make you girls a couple of uh, perches for out here and you're not going to be cooped up in here all day long every day this is ridiculous you're going to be able to free range but at this point i did realize it is called living and learning and i've lived and i've learned through each day that well you can't just bring three girl hens home and let them free range and expect them to be corralled up into a stall when dusk arrives I can now say been there, done that. And I never knew anything about roosters or hens or anything until Mr. Pauly came into our lives about a month ago. Polly, are you keeping an eye on your girls from the mirror, huh? Oh yeah, good boy, Polly, good boy. 
All right, guys, chill, and I'll be back in just a little bit, okay?